Today was very exciting because we uh, gathered together a group of key stakeholders uh, in uh, one of our key um, corridor traffics uh, in, from Spain to, 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 to the UK. Um, we got uh, stakeholders from government, so the DFT, the DIT were here, we got uh, stakeholders from railway bodies, so uh, GBR transition team were here. We had our valued customers, two of our valued customers, who are actually the ambassadors of what we do and the end users of, of our services. Um, we had a representative of uh, the uh, infrastructure, uh, the channel tunnel here, uh, and we, I wanted to group everybody together to have an open and honest debate as to how we can promote and increase further international rail freight uh, and eliminate some of the barriers that we find ourselves uh, uh, fighting against today uh, in order to grow international rail freight through barking. So I think there are huge benefits of transporting goods internationally by rail. There's the huge environmental benefits but also the economic benefits as well. It's an undertapped resource and it's something that we can get a huge amount more benefit from. But well, we also have um, uh, pressures on road haulage at the moment, so if we move, the more we put onto train, the more we're able to put onto train, the, 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 the greater the amount of pressure we can take off our road haulage industry at the moment, where everybody's aware of the, the sort of the, the well-known uh, driver shortages. International freight belongs on rail. The future for, for the UK is what we have in the present on the continent in terms of uh, rail innovation, rail technology and uh, efficient uh, rail freight services. I think the second thing, and we heard a lot about this today from operators and customers, is we absolutely need a commitment to the detail of delivery of freight and getting things right every time. And I think that commitment uh, is there in the UK, uh, but we've absolutely got to keep delivering. Well, talking about the benefits of rail, I mean, if, if you look at the current situation uh, with the ports that are bursting at their seams, uh, the HEV driver shortage, uh, the whole decarbonisation agenda, uh, rail logistics needs to be uh, the sustainable solution going forward. Come on, everybody knows that international freight belongs on rail. <laughs>